I'm Kimberly with the Fat Quarter Shop, and I'm here with Jill Finley. Hi, Jill. Hi, Kimberly. I noticed when you came yesterday that a lot of your quilts had rickrack, and I would love for you to show me how to apply rickracks to my quilts. Great, I'd love to. Let's do it. Okay, Kimberly. We're here. We have a little block that I've drawn a line on. I just used a friction pen to draw it. It doesn't matter what you use because it's going to be covered up. So the first thing I do is I, if I have a raw edge of rickrack to start with, I'm going to put a little bit of fray check right on that, on the end. Now, it, rickrack frays, so that's why we're doing it. It frays bad. So we, we want to cut it as little as possible and use the fray check when you have a cut edge, okay? Okay, the next thing we're going to do is apply some apple glue. And you're familiar with my glue. It's a basting product. It's going to hold this in place. Now on rickrack, you'll notice I'm using a little bit bigger drops of glue. Because the rickrack is made of polyester, it needs a little more energy to, to stay down. Because uh -huh, the cottons hold really readily, but the, the polyester has to be coaxed a, a bit. Okay, so I'm going to just put it covering that line. And then I want to just make sure that it is making contact so you can push it down there while I continue. When I get to the corner, there's a couple things you can do. You can wrap the corner around and just kind of stretch it to turn it. You can just turn the rickrack, which works really well if you have a skinny rickrack. Mm -hmm. This is a little thicker, so we're going to do a different method. So when we get to the corner, I'm just going to flip it and put glue on the opposite side. Put a little dab there and just flip it. And the reason we're not cutting at the corners is because it's easy, it's going to stay better, it's going to last longer because there's going to be no fraying. Right, and it does fray really bad. So anytime you have a cut edge, like I said, put some fray check on it and then also um, tuck any raw edge under so it's, it's got a finished edge. When we get to the end, I'm going to cut it a little bit longer than it needs to be so that we can tuck that under. And as you've noticed on the corners, it kind of pops up. And that's because we're trying to glue the polyester to the polyester. It doesn't like to adhere. It adheres better to the cotton. So if I were to glue that right there, it probably wouldn't hold. So I'm just going to hold that when I start my stitching. All right, I have my uh, block under my machine. I've ro rolled my needle down in to hold that, that uh, end of that rickrack that we had folded under. I'm going to use a wider foot than my quarter inch foot because it's going to hold that rickrack down. It tends to flip up a little bit. So I am using my regular foot. So I'm going to put this under the machine. Keep that edge down that was we ended with. And let me just put the needle down and then I'll tell you a little bit about this, how I've got it set up. I have the machine threaded with black thread. That's just so that you could see. Of course, normally I would want to match the thread to my rickrack, so I would use pink. But today I'm going to use the black so you can see. I've set the tension at the normal tension and um, my stitch length to two and a half. And the foot I'm using is a Bernina number no. one foot, which is a standard foot. This foot happens to have a little line right in the center where the needle is. I'm going to direct that line um, right down the center of the rickrack. So I do a little back stitch. And I'm going to have that line go where the dip in the rickrack is on the left and where the dip is on the right and just kind of go right down the center. And when I get to the corner, I'm going to end with the needle down, lift my presser foot and turn to go this down this side. I'm going to back stitch when I end. and then we would trim the threads off and that's all attached. Brick Rack is a great embellishment for all types of sewing projects and we hope that the tips that we've taught you today with our Rick Rack and Jill's Apple Glue are going to help you when you make your projects, maybe make a pillowcase or a border on a quilt. Send us pictures, subscribe to our YouTube channel and thanks for watching.